I spoke with my parents the other day actually to see what, what do they remember from me and Bach. My father, of course, said, well, I remember plugging my ears, but <laughs> um, no, but I started cello when I was six and I'd always heard Bach. My, my parents were musicians, uh, so that it was always very special to me. But in particular with the suites, I remember playing through these before I could really play them. So I was always working through them and pushing myself to, to grasp them because they, they just, uh, there was nothing that I felt more at home playing. And I think to this day, I really, when I'm playing Bach, I feel like this, this is it, you know, this is what I love to do. The Concertgebouw really, it, it does have this reputation, sort of the Carnegie Hall of this side of the sea. I, I think of it that way. I spend so much of my career now playing in very small spaces. Half of the music I play belongs actually in a small space and doesn't belong in big concert halls in, in terms of its intent. But I, I see concert halls as another instrument, so it's basically the chance to, to play in a very special space that's dedicated to amplifying the most intricate sounds, and that's a nice space for the cello. <laughs> The second suite is, it's really one of my favorites, so I was delighted when I was asked to, to do this one. It's so contemplative and searching. I think it's probably the most searching of the suites. I think that's one reason I'm so drawn to it is that it's always a different experience for me as a performer, that I'm, I'm always trying to find where it's going. And I'm trying that in general with my music making, but in this suite it, it invites that sort of searching to, to an extreme, I think, compared with all the, his other suites. I think the Sarabande uh, from this suite is really, it speaks so deeply to me. It has a, a reverence in it, it's, it's almost a memory of something beautiful. So it has a sadness, but there's, there's a light behind it. It's heavy, it's very heavy music. One thing that stands out just from the beginning of this Sarabande is how much Bach does with such little information. So you, you have this um, melodic line, if I simplify it into a sort of skeletal form. You have this melody. Very simple scale. And then the bass line, simplified, is sort of... And when you put those two together, you... Uh, so it's, then he takes it even further. He, he has it expand down to this. So you go da, 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 And there's this, just this beautiful expansion that happens. And it, why, the reason that stands out to me is because he's specific about starting on this unison. So he has you playing the open string and the other string as distinctive notes. So it's coming from this the most centered point into this beautiful expansion. I love that, that, that idea of this simplicity and how much beauty can be extracted from something so pure and so simple. You have to go left then, not the right. <laughs> I'm always playing the suites differently, and this goes even within a short space of a practice session. I'm trying lots of different things. I, I always want to find a different way to understand it. And so I, I think this will be the story of my life with, with uh, relating to Bach, and I don't mind that because it's 
endless joy for me to play it. But I, I think in general in music making that's really what I'm going for. I mean, it, it, otherwise what is the point of this if, um, if you're just always recreating something and not actually creating it from an inspiration, you know? So along with that freedom comes the responsibility and difficulty of making sense <laughs> out of it. So probably the biggest trick is to portray searching without being completely clueless <laughs> about where I'm going. And that can happen to just get carried away by it. So with the searching that it invites, the, the danger is that things become unclear. So I'm constantly having to pull myself back, step back a minute and, and think what's behind this even though you're searching. <laughs> so you have to know ahead of time. <laughs>